Balls Revisited. Hi, it's Pam Duffy and I help you craft your career with creative marketing, arts and craft videos. And it's a Wednesday, so this must mean that it's another needle felting equipment and supplies review. Every Wednesday I make a video just like this, so if this is something you're interested in, don't forget, come back every Wednesday. And just a reminder that I'm not sponsored for any of these videos. These are just things I've purchased myself and I want to share with you whether I think they're approved or a total waste of money. If I ever am sponsored for any of these videos, I'll let you know in advance. And where I can, if I can find them at a reasonable price, I'll leave a link down below, which is often going to be my Amazon affiliate account, which doesn't cost you a penny. So this is my second attempt in my quest to find an easier way of felting balls for things like baubles and Easter decorations. If you haven't already, check my first video in the cards up above where I attempted to use polystyrene balls. Little hint. I failed. But I saw what I hope is the perfect thing on Amazon and that is dryer balls. Now I never used dryer balls, these are all the rage of course, um, but I thought I'd get some anyway but when I saw on Amazon that these ones are pure wool dryer balls, thinking cap on and I thought I wonder if we can felt onto these things. So I ordered some up. And let's take a look at how I did. So first impressions of these is they are a really nice firm felted ball. I assume they're wet felted. No one would be able to make a living needle felting something as big and solid as that for the prices they're selling them at. I don't know what wool it is, but they say they're 100% they're wool, so that's fantastic. Another thing I'm noticing, basically I took this one right from the box right out through to film with it and in the walking from the sitting room and sticking it on my table I noticed that it's really picking up little stray hairs so it does say in the listing that these are good for removing lint from your clothes and things so I can't wait to actually get these in the dryer and see how this works because trust me if they can remove dog hair I'm gonna be so happy I'm looking at you there Mia my little dog Mia, she has hair. I should be donating this to NASA as some kind of Velcro substitute. This stuff sticks to everything. So if these little dryer balls can get some of her hair out of my clothes, we're onto a winner already. It was worth the money. They're also supposed to reduce drying time, which is obviously an environmental bonus and help soften your clothes a bit as well. I assume that's just the agitation, the being bounced about with them. Give them a try in my washing shortly, but I wanted to have a go at felting with them. So first things first, I'm trying this with my 36 gauge needle and I'm finding this is so firmly felted that actually it's really struggling to go in. Um, so going to move on to the finishing needle. So this is a 42 twist needle and there's still a fair bit of resistance. This is a well felted ball but I can get in and felt and it feels so much nicer than the polystyrene balls. You can feel it's going right into the wool but it's just felting. It's just like putting a top coat on any felted surface that you've already made. So I'm just attempting to make a a curved line as you can see felting this in. Obviously if you were doing this properly you'd want to trim off all the strays and everything but it's fully felting into the surface. Uh, colours are blending just as nicely as I would expect on any wool surface. And that's felting fairly quickly so super happy with that. And now let's try something. And now let's try something a little bit different, a little flower with a couple of colours. So I'm first of all adding a circle in this darker purple colour, felting, just creating a ball and then felting that in. You can either leave the surface flat or raised, as I'll show you in the close-ups in a little while. Um, but it depends on how you angle your needle. And then just some petals. I'm going to make six for a flower of this size and just roll them into a ball and then backwards and forwards a little bit to make a teardrop shape and felting them all around the the center of the flower and this makes a really simple cute flower I 
and as you can see if you want the surface raised slightly then you just felt keeping the needle perpendicular to how you want the shape to appear so that means you're going to have to have a curve over the top of the petal that you've added. If you want them to be flat into the surface then you keep your needle perpendicular to the surface of the ball and felt that way and this will felt the the petal right flush into the surface of the ball. Either one gives a really kind of cute effect. And finally I just want to try a little bit with this pre-felt that I've got kicking around to see how that works to make more geometrical shapes or a bit of a shortcut. Um, so all I'm doing is cutting out a random shape and felting that onto the surface and as I expected that is felting in rather lovely. If you keep felting for a large period of time then you're just going to find that this felts in and becomes part of the bowl basically so you won't so there won't be any distinction, there won't be any any lump that you can see of any difference and you won't be able to eventually you wouldn't be able to separate it from the bowl, it will be fully become part of the piece. One thing you could do with this, if you're wanting to make intricate beautiful patterns, you could use a piece of say white pre-felt, felt the beautiful picture onto it, even using the iron-on silky transfer pen to make a beautiful picture and then carefully apply this picture that you've made to the ball which would be a bit easier than trying to felt something beautiful onto a three-dimensional shape. So what do I think of these balls? Definitely, as you can tell, approved. They are good quality, nice solid wool. I'm looking forward, this is a weird thing to say, I'm looking forward to doing my washing so I can have a shot and see what these are like in the dryer. But if you're looking to make ball balls or any kind of art on a ball form, then these are really good to felt on. Just remember and use a fine finishing needle rather than one of your workhorse needles because they are so firmly felted. But definitely good value. And actually, I'm gonna bung this one in the dryer and see what happens. The colors are, the colors are set, they're not gonna come off. I wonder if the extra like bumps on the surface will give any advantage but anyway having pretty dryer balls it's gonna be a good thing so don't forget if you want to see more of my reviews click on my wee face to subscribe come back every wednesday and check out the video of my first balls experiment with the polystyrene balls thank you so much for joining me